Hello there and welcome to the program. My name is Alex Chamwada. Always a pleasure having your company. Now we've documented many stories from various parts of the world, inspiring stories, success stories about Kenyans who are excelling in various fields. And America, for example, is considered a land full of opportunities. But is it always smooth? Today, we bring you the other side of America. Today on Daring Abroad, Homeless in America. It's not easy, because now I'm learning how to live a new life all over again. What can make one find themselves in the streets and how the Kenyan community in Massachusetts has stepped in. I've been dealing with about 20 homeless Kenyans in this park and uh, I have success stories. Also on the show, Kings is a dream come true. Why U.S. Marine and trained nurse Jonathan Onyinkwa is investing back home through Kings developers. You can never go wrong. If you invest in real estate, you've invested in the future. With that out of the way, let's now go to the streets and find out how the Kenyan community in Massachusetts is helping the homeless. It is a busy mid-morning at the South Common Park in Lowell, Massachusetts, as members of a Kenyan faith-based charity organization known as Homeless Reform Project gather to donate food and clothes to homeless people. This park being what most of the homeless call home. Yes, one can find themselves in the streets here in the U.S. due to a number of factors. I'm the Secretary of Homeless Reform Project and a founder with, together with uh, Florence. We sat on a table on January 31st, 2019, and uh, I started expressing my views when I go to preach in, uh, in the parks. What I witness with our own people who are languishing in the park I could not believe they sleep under trees. I could not believe some of them are, have very good skills, aeronautical technicians, they are nurses, they are engineers. In these people you see, veterans, yet I could not understand how they came to the park. So when I started engaging them on one-on-one -on -one discussion, is when I saw domestic violence plays a very great role, even before alcohol, because it drives them to seek refuge somewhere else, seek consolation in alcohol, drugs, and everything. Incarcerations cause them to come out of jail or imprisonment only to meet they are not a accepted by the society they used to know and the only people that accept them are the ones who are homeless and they end up uh, finding themselves to be becoming addicts. Peer pressure also has led many to alcoholism, drug addiction and particularly this advice in our schools today in America. I think even in Kenya, and you find young people are joining in this population very much. The population is increasing at a rate that calls for action. I've been dealing with about 20 homeless Kenyans in this park, and uh, I have success stories who have really recovered and relocated to other states because they chose to relocate because they knew where their trigger is. So when they went to the rehab, they recovered, they decided to relocate. About four of them are out of this state. Currently, right now, we have about 15 of them still sleeping out here in this park where we are. But there are success stories even before one ends up on the streets. 
This charity organization has gone out of its way to help arrest certain situations before they go out of hand. Tony, to use a pseudonym, is one classic example of a success story. My cousin is a vizuri, I am a man. one thing that challenge for me was alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And that is what really has been a struggle. Mm -hmm. But I am a recovering alcoholic now. Mm -hmm. yep. What led you into going into alcoholism? Actually, Sio sema na jo ni nili mpeleko kwa ndani lakini na jo ya yale mazoea nilikuwa nao na robi kutoka tunenda kula nyama tuna socialize then ikakuwa ni part of me kwa hivyo hata nikitoka Kenya nikikuja hapa i was still drinking the same way but sasa una kutoka kuna mashida nyingi and i'm still struggling with alcoholism na i cannot be able kukaa bila kukunywa so it became trouble ndio kwa trouble kwangu ili affect kazi yako ni affect kazi yangu ni get into the legal system jela nimeenda jua pombe homelessness in the US cuts across nationalities statistics indicate that tens of thousands more people in the US were homeless in the year 2023 compared with 2022 as high costs of living pushed some of the most vulnerable Americans into shelters and the streets. Homelessness shot up by more than 12%, reaching over 600,000 people. Even the Americans, people who are here, born here, raised here, are also very, very much homeless. We deal with so many of them, and they really appreciate our help. On a personal note, I can just ask our fellow Kenyans, if your brother or sister came to America and they're not getting in touch with you, take an initiative to look for them. Find out what's going on. They could be sleeping in the park and you don't know. You might think they're there living good and doing the, making the dollar. No, they're not. Some of them are here and they don't want to talk to people back home because they don't want to be asked, how are you and what are you doing? There are factors uh, behind homelessness and the factors are anxiety because of some pressure somewhere, domestic violence, trauma. Others, they are unable to fit in the American system where if you fail one paycheck, you may not be able to pay your bills and to catch up for some becomes very hard. If you fail two paychecks, they are enough to render you uh, homeless and you know you can be told your job is over and you don't get another job in time in good time it's very easy to become homeless even for us who are nursing these people every city in the u.s has homeless people in massachusetts this is one of the places you will find unsheltered kenyans mostly they are found here this is a park near near, near Dondike. And uh, whenever like it's really hot, you pass by here, you're gonna find them all here. But now that it's cloudy, some of them are hiding. Some of them saw us come here, they ran away. Cause whenever they see Kenyans coming here, they run away. Some of them don't wanna be known. So they go hiding. As community leaders, we have been always approached by the HRP, which is led, uh, Homeless Reform Project, which is led by uh, Florence. They approach us to help them where they can be able to work out things. They came with green cards. And I'm telling you, we have a lot of them that we know they have green cards in their pockets. Some are expired. Some are lost. We have nurses here too. We have LPNs. We have RNs. Right here with licenses. So when you get that green card and pack your bags to relocate to America, be prepared to do all that it takes to fit into the system. The Kenyan community leaders here are warning that the American system is not like the Kenyan system and a green card is not necessarily a ticket to success. You'll have to begin life afresh when you land. The other thing I would encourage the Kenyans to know is that, and this I'm talking on a personal level and what I have seen, when somebody is coming to America, we Americans, we Kenyans who are here in America, do not promise you're going to be their host, knowing very well you're not going to keep them in your house. Because I have three cases I've dealt with of a very bad host. Somebody calls you from 
Kenya and tells you they want to come to America and you're going to host them in your house. After they finish one week, you throw them out. They become instantly homeless. I've met three young people pulling their suitcases with still the tag from the airport. And you ask them what happened, my, my host threw me out and I had no other choice just to join the homeless people because those, that is what I could do. So that those cases, we receive them very well, we take them immediately because we know one, they don't have drugs, they don't have alcohol in them, they have not messed up their body. So we take them, we help them until they stabilize and they live a normal life. The leaders emphasize that broken relationships and driving under influence or what is commonly known as DUI are some of the factors that may lead you into trouble and the boy child is the most vulnerable and what i can tell our fellow men here in america if the relationship is not working please walk away it's not a coward to walk away you would rather walk away than 911 being called on you and the next thing you see you have a, that thing on your leg giving you a radius that you can't go it is okay you can walk away and pick up your broken pieces if a relationship is not working and i keep telling them this walk away you're not a coward go look for a friend tell him i've been thrown out i need a place to sleep i'll be fine after a short time get a job rent a house and live and you'll get another relationship or another good friend who understands you but sometimes it's not good to judge because you don't know the balance you don't know the story on the other side but majority of them who are here is broken relationships it's marriages that did not work mental health is a real thing let's encourage our youth to speak out and share whatever they might be holding back. Let's give without expecting anything in return. Alcoholics will never tell you what is wrong with them. Mm. Mm. And until you've done the work, you I realize what is actually nini in our mm. Now, most of the time, what do I discriminate? Na emonya alcoholic, one, mentally you feel sour. Second, physically you go sour. Mm. But most of the time, what we're going to have to do is that the challenge. Like in mental, in the mental, mm. it's mental. Mm. It's not even the drinking physical part of it. No, we can one on one do tons of wonder to be exactly because we all in the same disease, like we have different behaviors. You know, those kind of mental issues. Mm and they don't know how to overcome it. No, mm -hmm. these behaviors to me, Nazo, maybe you've been drinking for 20 years, so you've been carrying all those behaviors for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. And then, after you on MBA day one, I have to change. It's not easy. It's not easy, because mm -hmm. now I'm learning how to live a new life all over again. The good thing is that there is hope for the resilient, and with such community initiatives, a lot can be achieved as prevention is better than cure. It's a beautiful opportunity and it works because we've been here and we've been working. We make ends meet. Just get yourself together and work and make sure you meet your bills and do the right thing. America doesn't joke around. It doesn't uh, play around with the law. If you have a DUI, you're dead. You're finished. So make sure you live the right life and obey the law of America. You'll be fine. Welcome back to the show and time now to hear the story of Jonathan Onyinkwa, a Kenyan nurse based in New Jersey and how he's investing back home. Jonathan Onyinkwa is living his American dream. Since arriving in September of 2010, Jonathan has been busy making a name for himself. I'm a full-time registered nurse. Ndiyo na kama supervisor kwa hospitali flani hapo. Ndiyo nafanya my 40 hours. Then uh, sometimes nafanya part-time job kwa hospitali ingina hapo just to make extra money. Yeah, in uh, as needed basis. Alafu, tena mi mwona jeshi. Mi ni staff sergeant. Ni me graduate uh, sergeant first class recently. So, I'm ready to be pinned in kaya sergeant first class. When you're on our level, first, sergeant first class ni kama Kutoka kama senior sergeant Kenya, I think kuenda kama inspector, something like that. Wife anafanya kazi. But her main job ni kusai ni kuangalia watoto. Alafu, I'm like the sole breadwinner. Lakini, akona side haso yake pia. Akona channel yake naitua Miss Liungu. It's a YouTube channel. 
she's doing good right now that's like up on your anapata side hustle yake uh, she just shows people around in the united states like kind of kuonyesha her normal routines the neighborhoods the, the the culture the foods and all that even with all this going for him kenya is always on his mind especially when it comes to investments most people dream to come to america but lazima ukana exit ukiingia place lazima plan nikiingilia hapa natoka vipi niliamua ku invest home yes ni invest na the people known as uh, kings developers au ndio nilikuwa na watch watch show nikaputiwa na like their professionalism alafu nikaamua kununua nyumba zao niko na like three properties uh, one in uh, Kilimani and two in Ruiru at the end of the day nataka ku return and nyumba ni enjoy life wow yeah that's my plan yes with their impressive portfolio of over 40 completed projects in Kenya and over 15 years of experience in Kenya's real estate sector kings was the obvious choice for this son of kisi kings is a dream come through by the way ni sure bet to kin first na wao uko sure kila kitu itakuwa tu all you have to do with ni kudeo na malawyers au ndio anakusaidia unajua family nayo family wana kuanga wa chanza sometimes kitumia family kukusaidia with investment i am as wana wana kucheza akili kidogo kama kitu ni attend 10 shillings unaambiwa unajua ni 15 shillings so your five bob imeenda kwa kwa mtu but kings are very professional transaction zao ziko transparent unaona penye pesa yako inaingia alafu they will guide you through because they have uh, some people when you wanna go advice wanna kuambia um, this is the kind if this is the kind of property you're looking for uh, this the amount of money you want to invest in this property wanna could break it down so it's uh, their properties are based from on how much you can afford to pay Sheila Mugoi is the head of marketing and diaspora affairs at Kings Developers Limited. The process in acquiring a property from Kings Developers is actually quite easy. For somebody like Jonathan, he watched us on our social media platforms and so he saw us talk about our properties and he called the number on your screen right now and so somebody was able to reach out to him from our diaspora desk because we do have that that caters to the markets across Any time that you are available we'll always reach out to you or you can reach out to us and so he reached out there's uh, one of our property advisors who was able to communicate with him at least down whatever we have available together with our payment plans and then for him actually it was quite easy because we organized for a Zoom meeting on site so that he can actually see what's available and then from there he was able to decide what he wants but usually we send you what we have and then we can communicate on whatsapp on email whatever you want we send you our catalog and then you can able to see our payment plans are wide and uh, depending with the property they have very modernized uh, homes which actually resemble the setting in upper marakan bedrooms zao pia ziko very spacious and then uh, the space is very spacious like in the in the living room alafu ako na balcony hapo so i have uh, the same setting niko na zama nyumba za hapa that's the same setting wako nazo so that's why nilifutiwa na manyumba zao nikaamua kuziendea Where we are right now currently we are in Thika at King's Orchid. This is the only property right now where we're selling from 1 million actually in the whole of Thika. It's the only one right now. It's from as low as 1 million to 4.8 million. So we have a studio, we have a one bedroom for 1.5, we have a two bedroom for 3.4, a two bedroom for 4 million, another three bedroom master in suite for 4.8 million. And the amazing thing about it is that there will be several amenities in here. We have high speed lifts community hall bo hall a garden a children's play area so this is actually the in thing right now this is the most beautiful and uh, most amazing thing that will happen to Thika in come next year and then now we have something in Ruiru two bedrooms at 3.7 then we have in Kilaleshwa three bedrooms with an SQ at 30 million we have something along Lenana Road at three bedrooms at 19.5 we have something along Gong Road two bedrooms at 9.5 so we actually have a variety of homes for you and also if you want to invest in the up- upcountry markets we also have houses in Nakuru houses in Eldoret so we have something for you not only here in Nairobi but actually outside Nairobi and also around Nairobi metropolitan 
Yes. And also on top of that, we also have office spaces. So we actually have every need for you, we cater to it. Another key selling point for Jonathan was their flexibility in payment. Una agree na wao ahead of time you can make a bigger payment this month kwa mfano tuseme kama kila mwezi unafaa kulipa 500,000 shillings but this month labda uko na 700,000 shillings you can pay 700,000 shillings this month next month na kukatishia ile pesa unaenda kulipa unaona so kwa mfano kama umelipa 700 next month you are allowed to pay less than the, the agreed amount of 500,000 you lipe kama 300,000 Our payment plans vary. Right now here at Thika, you have a payment plan of around two years because the project just started in January and that's why now you have a longer payment plan to pay your deposits. But then for properties which are well advanced during the construction period, you may have 12 months, maybe around 16, 18 months, but we can always figure out a way to agree with you because we try to cater to your specific need. We tailor make a plan for you. So all our clients have different payment plans. The minimum will always be a 10%, 20% deposit. Then from there we try to do the math for you and see how comfortable you can be in making these plans because we don't want you to feel pressured in making the payments. And when it comes to advice, they are really good and they can help them through the process. Properties are very genuine because they see everything, every transaction, every like kila kitu is very professional and they are always lawyers when you are involved so hakuna kitu naenda kulusi if you invest in with them you are sure bet you get your faida ya pesa yako these are some of the reasons that Jonathan chose King's developers a decision he says he does not regret some people invest for different purposes kuna wenye wana invest au akuja kuishi pale eventually kuna wenye wana invest and you wapate quick money yenye unajua kila kitu ukifanya hapa Marekani you have to pay taxes but the more properties you have the more property tax you pay all my kids from the wapa so our watoto nataka in the future waka with inheritance kind of so stack wa kuja ku grow labda wa struggle ku start life and the start you know nataka at least wa ku grow life yao is kind too easy na square too hard wapate some foundation yenye wataendelea na maisha mazuri. As Kings developers, why we are encouraging our diaspora family to invest back home number one is that we have already solved a problem for you. Whereby if you want to invest in something that has good high returns, something that is well placed in locations that are safe for you, convenient for you, we already have that for you. And the good thing about us is that we're giving you a payment plan that is well within whatever you're working with and so we are encouraging you because number one you get a high ROI for what we have number two you already know where we are placed number three we are giving you something that for now you may not be able to build a house when you are abroad but now we are already solving it we're giving you a diving board where even if you come back home you're not starting from scratch you already have a ready home so by the time you're trying to sort yourself out and see how well you can do things around in Kenya you already have a house with these developers real estate is the best investment because it shows you can't hide it it's either it's there or not so real estate is the best is the best because you can actually see it number two, people are always looking for homes to settle in there's always urbanization that is happening there's always modernization that is taking place right now and always government policies and are always taking place where we're trying to improve a place and real estate will always be a major factor apart from the infrastructure of roads and schools there will always be a need for houses and so it's the best one because you can never go wrong if you invest in real estate you've invested in the future it's not even now it's in the future so you're already already aware that in five years time you're still making money because that's the only investment you always make money while you're asleep Great, Jonathan is a classic example of Kenyans working abroad and investing back home and he's done so through King's Developers. And talking about investment, our daring abroad investment forums are still ongoing. Last week we were in Massachusetts. Many thanks to the Kenyan community in Massachusetts for your warm welcome. This weekend we've pitched tent 
in Dallas, Texas. And next week, find us in Houston. And on that note, we come to the end of the show. On behalf of my team at Chums Media, many thanks for watching.